alive. The little ones, once they burst out of their eggs, they ate me screaming. I don't understand. Why did this happen? Why wasn't the Divine here to save me? Too little, too late. I'm already dead, and Revelon's been on its own for too long now. Never thought I'd be relieved to die like that. If you hadn't come along, I would have been eaten by them damn hatchlings we were guarding. I wish I could tell you, but my brain ain't quite straight. It's still full of Mordus's fog. All I know is I were to guard those eggs with my life. And once they cracked open, I was to lay down my weapon and let them eat me. You spared me from that at least. Thank you. Be damned if I know. We had him locked up tight in the hole beneath his office, waiting for Lohar's go-ahead before we threw him off the cliff. Then, the next thing you know, I hear this voice. His voice telling me to kill. And my hand went for my dagger. in front of you. His eyes are unfocused and he seems to be mumbling something to himself. 84 tankards of beer in a cave. 84 tankards of beer. Pick one up, tip back your cup. Hey. The ghost grasps at the handle of his mug and stares in confusion as his hand passes right through it. Four tankards of beer. Oh no, that ain't right. Um... I'm just trying to enjoy one last drink before I go on duty. I'll be down guarding Mordus. Gets cold down in that vault. Figured a drink or two to guard against the chill wouldn't hurt, eh? Dead? Who are you trying to fool, mate? I might have been hitting the beer, but I reckon you've had one too many spirits, eh? Eh? Ah! Spirits! Get it? Nah, I'll just have one more and then I'm off. Just one more.
I can't hear nothing. Nothing but that voice. It won't stop, it never stops. The dwarf starts to sob quietly with his hands pressed over his ears. The dwarf snaps around to look at you, panic filling his sapphire eyes. It won't stop. Since we locked up Maldus, his voice, it just won't stop. He grabs your arm, pawing at you while his mouth moves silently. His blue eyes swirl, turning an oily black as you watch.
Linda, she's trying to pinch a desk fog machine. If I'd known this would happen, I would have just let him have it. The ghost sways from side to side, the firelight flickering through the shade of what he used to be. The spirit reaches out to you. As you touch its hand, you see flashes of its past. You see a dwarf trying to sneak into a room filled with barrels, barrels covered in the marks of death. There is a distant shout, and he bolts, scrabbling for freedom. He's chased to an office, to a vault. Guards are posted as he cowers inside, and you wait for word from Driftwood. But the words you hear aren't the words you expected. You hear the dwarf's voice. You hear whispers of violence. You hear the screams of your friends. The ghost pulls back, exhausted, and the vision fades. <laughs> 